Meet the sea robin. These quirky fish have leg-like appendages that they use to stroll along the ocean bottom. That's not unusual, surprisingly, because there's quite a few fish that walk, and I'll go through a few at the end. But what is special is that sea robins can use these limbs to taste the seafloor for buried prey. How cool is that? Although come to think of it, I don't think I'd like to taste with my feet. Recent studies have shown that these appendages in the sea robins are packed with sensory organs, allowing them to detect and taste prey hidden in the sand. It's like instead of a metal detector that they had some kind of food detector built in at the end of their legs. Here's what those footy taste buds look like under the electron microscope. The scientists collected batches of sea robins, about 15 or so, to study in aquariums and found that where they'd put food under the sand, the sea robin very quickly found it and dug it up. But curiously, when they tried with another batch of fish, they couldn't do it. Turns out they hadn't noticed that they were a slightly different species. So not all sea robins have this ability. It's because some hunt over the sand for fish and things like that, and, and they're not interested in digging. So they don't have taste buds on their feet. As you remember, those microscope shots on the fish that could taste with its feet look like this, with bumps. And this microscope picture is a shot of another sea robin species that can't taste with its feet. They're totally smooth. Those taste buds don't exist. Sea robins are also called gurnards, from the French, or the old French, for grunting, which is the noise they make when they're caught, apparently. And they're a pretty big family of fish, found worldwide. The leg-like structures are formed from the rays of their pectoral fins. All fish have rays in their fins, but in the gurnards they've become thickened and the webbing between them lost and you just get these little stumpy, thin legs. There's even a deep sea gurnard that's heavily built called the armoured sea robin. Reminds me a bit of the Tesla Cybertruck with all those angles at the front of its head. But sea robins aren't the only fish with leg-like features. Check out the frogfish. These guys are masters of disguise and use their petrol fins to walk along the seafloor. They can even change colour to blend in with their surroundings and they're camouflaged because they're a type of anglerfish that has to sit and wait for its prey. And let's not forget about the sea moths. These delicate fish use their modified fins to walk along the seafloor searching for food. They are, I think, some of the most elegant of bottom dwellers. And then, as you probably know, there's the mud skipper. I used to love these when I was a boy. I was amazed by them. They're amphibious fish and are true land walkers. They can breathe air and use their petrol fins to skip across the mud flats. Mud skippers are often found in mangrove forests and estuaries where they burrow into the mud to stay moist and cool and even make their own swimming pools out of mud far away from the sea when the tide is low. The use of petrol fins as a kind of leg allows bottom-dwelling fish like sea robins, frogfish, sea moths and mud skippers to move efficiently across the seafloor. This adaption helps them avoid literally getting stuck in the mud and makes it easier to hunt for food or escape predators. Of course, some ancient fish went even further and developed the ability to walk on land permanently. And the rest, as they say, is history.